Hello, hello. So good to see you again. Hope you're all still having a wonderful, happy new year with all kinds of pleasantries happening every day of your life. I once again, as always, like to thank Sanal Maharelli for referring so many subscribers to my soul station, to my YouTube channel. I'm always very grateful for this kind gesture that she's done. And just so you know, I was up all night burning the midnight oil. So my voice may be a little raspy, may look a little on the tired side, but sometimes that's what you have to do to get things done when you're working for the Lord. And it's always a pleasure to do that. But just so you know, I was up pretty much all night last night. So today we'll be discussing the prayer of faith. We touched on it briefly in our first video. And the verse of scripture that I cited at that time was from Mark eleven twenty four, which again, I'll be uh, paraphrasing. Uh, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Also, I want you to take note before we progress any further that Psalm 50, uh, chapter 50, verse 16 states, but to the wicked, God says, what right have you to recite my laws or to take my covenant on your, on your lips? You hate my instruction and cast my words behind you. Verse 19 states, you use your mouth for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. It is so important that as we're pressing in towards the Lord and using our uh, motto, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force, is we're forcefully pressing into studying his word, to seeking him with all of our heart, soul, mind, strength, and being, that we're paying close attention to the words that are coming out of our mouth, that to the condition of our hearts. We want to make sure that we're renewing our minds and speaking things that are worthy. The, the word of God says, if you speak worthy and not worthless words, your mouth shall be as the mouth of God. Oh, yes, it does. It states that. And I will cite that verse of scripture for you in, in another video. However, it's just of utmost importance that we cleanse our hearts, that we purify our lips, that they will be uh, pleasing to the Lord. So uh, we're going to uh, continue in, in reminding you of, if those of you who listen to Girl Chat, of the verse of scripture that I cited from Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, concerning the unbelieving. It says, they have their place in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. For those who continue to speak harsh words and to, to not harness their tongues to, for kindness and for goodness and to speak the word of God and to uplift people and to go forth as though they're uh, unbelievers, and not confessing what God's word says over the situation, not believing it by being obedient in not just hearing the word, but doing the word. We want to remember of the woe that we discussed in girl chat in our last video, the woes that will come into you, the uh, unfavorable situations and things, trials and things because of your disobedience. So we don't want to fall under the category of being unbelievers or disobedient because we're not harnessing our tongues in the proper manner. Okay, and let's take it down to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. It states, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. So one of the best prayers that we can uh, pray is a prayer of faith because the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. It also states that the righteous live by faith. So we want to demonstrate to God that we're putting into uh, uh, action his, his basic principles on faith. And, and a lot of it starts with the things that you say. And uh, of course, remembering that the wicked have no right, the unbelievers, those who disobey, they have no right to recite God's, his laws, his promises. So we want to make sure that we're cleaning up our lives and we're repenting, we're turning from things that are not pleasing to the Lord. Uh, one of the best examples of a prayer of faith, believe it or not, you can see in, in the book of Jonah, chapter 2, verses 1 through 10, where Jonah prayed in the past tense prior to being vomited from the fish's belly. So you go look that up, get your Bibles, Jonah chapter 2, verses 1 and 10, and read the prayer. It's, it's in the past tense. He's praying as though he believed that his God had already delivered him from that fish. That was 
of a, a very good, most excellent prayer of faith that Jonah prayed. And it, in verse 10, it states, and the Lord commanded the fish and it vomited Jonah onto dry land. Wow, how about that? So you can see uh, the benefit from utilizing the prayer of faith for the things that you're believing for, especially if you're trying so hard to do God's will. It's, it's God's will is a good thing. What did he say? What did Jesus say before leaving the disciples? Peace on earth, good will towards men. It's a good thing. However, it won't come without suffering. You will suffer. The Bible says, take up your cross and follow me. What's the purpose of the cross? To crucify your flesh. And so with your times of fasting and prayer, make sure that you utilize that prayer of faith so that God can deliver you from the places and things and people you need to be delivered from so that you can begin to do his good will that he intended for your life. It will come with suffering, suffering because you will need to crucify your flesh, crucify your own willful desires and, and things like that. And sometimes God just wants us to give up those things and then he'll end up giving them back to us, but in an orderly fashion in an orderly way so that you can do things and progress forward in an orderly manner. Uh, let's see. There's a statement found in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. It states, by his stripes you were healed. That's, that's, uh, you can incorporate that into your prayer of faith. For example, Father in heaven, I thank you that by the stripes of Jesus I was healed. You said in your word that you would send your word and cure my diseases. And I send that word now into my flesh. And I thank you that by your stripes, I was healed. And thank you for the signs and wonders that follow we who believe and for the manifestation in Jesus mighty name. So again, Psalm chapter 40 is another prayer of faith that David prayed. David found, him in, found himself in very unfavorable circumstances. So he prayed a prayer in the past tense a prayer of faith, as though God had already delivered him. He said, paraphrased again, you lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. And so, you know, it, it, it really pays to take heed to what is coming out of my mouth at this time, because it is a prayer of faith. It is something that pleases God, and it is something that has worked for me marvelously. So we've discussed carrying your own cross. You don't want to speak contrary to your prayers. So the Bible says the tongue holds the power of life and death, and those who love it shall eat its fruit. If you're going to be praying these prayers of faith, come out of your prayer time and start confessing negative words, start speaking things that are not congruent with your prayer of faith. What use, you know, why are you spending your time praying? Why are you, you know? So you want to make sure that everything is in alignment with what the word of God says concerning faith. You're speaking favorable things, not just favorable, positive things, but God's word, because the Bible says there's power in the word and God's word is flawlessly exalted above all things. So you want God's word coming out of your mouth. And so Luke chapter one, verses 46 to 55, we see here Mary's prayer of faith. Jesus' mother prayed a prayer of faith. This prayer, if you look it up, it's she's praying in the past tense. So we want to thank you for uh, subscribing and for sharing. And by faith, I'm thanking you for subscribing and sharing. In the name of Jesus, our motto is the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Be forceful in your pressing into the Lord. Be forceful and violent in your prayer times and in, in utilizing the truth that are, that's coming to you, not just on this station, but on various other uh, YouTube channels. Also, uh, Romans 10, 9 states, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And Father, right now, those who've come, Lord God, who do not know you, I thank you, Lord God, that they have confessed with their mouth, Jesus is Lord, that they have believed in their heart that God raised them from the dead and that you have saved them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come in agreement with those who Lord, are desirous of your salvation. And I thank you, Lord, for the signs and wonders in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for meeting me here today. And once again, cheers to you all. I'll be coming to you again, most likely 
uh, tomorrow in a couple, couple of days for Girl Chat to follow up for our discussion that we initiated on that uh, last Girl Chat. So, so wonderful seeing you again. Continue with your Happy New Year and peace to you all.